Hello everyone, I'm Michaela Kathleen and I'm here today with a brand new book tag that I created myself. And it is called the Old New Borrowed Blue Book Tag. And yes, it is a wedding themed book tag. I have not talked about my wedding in a while, but I am getting married very soon. And I have my something old, my something new, my something borrowed, and my something blue and also a lucky sixpence for my shoe. So yes, the prompts in this tag are pretty simple. It is to show off your old, new, borrowed, and blue item. And then also show some books that would fill those categories. So starting off with my something old. My something old is my engagement ring. My engagement ring was my fiance's grandmother's ring. So it is from the early 1900s, so it is going to be my something old on my wedding day. As for a very old book that I have, the book that I've owned the longest, other than maybe some of my Harry Potter books, is The Last Book in the Universe by Rodman Philbrick. This is an all-time favorite for me. It's a comfort read. It's very short, so I reread it all the time. It's getting pretty worn out. I feel like the cover is gonna fall off eventually. So yes, this is one of the oldest books on my shelves as far as how long I've owned it. So next, my something new is my wedding band, which we had custom made to fit with my engagement ring this year, which we love. You would not know that these two rings were made like a hundred years apart, but they were, even though they go together so well. Just gonna slide them both on for now. <laughs> Safekeeping. And as far as one of the newest books on my shelves, I have Youngbloods by Scott Westerfeld, which this is the final book in the series that is a spinoff of Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, which is one of my favorite series of all time. I'm really excited for this one. I've only read the first two books in this series so far. This is the fourth one, but I'm really excited for this fourth one because the title is the last name of our main character from the Uglies series, so that's very exciting. And I'm looking forward to reading this one. I think I'll be reading this one probably early next year. <laughs> kind of already got all my reads figured out for October, November, December, and January. So I think I might be starting restarting this spinoff series in February and reading all four of them. Next, moving on to my something borrowed, which is another ring. I'm borrowing a ring from my mom, which I already have so that I don't, we don't forget it and leave it at her place. This is just a ring that I borrow from her pretty consistently. Like if I go up there because they live a few hours away for the weekend, and sometimes I just don't bother bringing jewelry with me, but if we go somewhere and I feel like putting some jewelry on, a lot of times I'll borrow this ring. So I wanted to kind of keep that tradition alive with my something borrowed at my wedding. And for a borrowed book, I don't really borrow books from people ever. I don't borrow books from the library either, but I do take books from free little libraries and then if I don't like them enough to keep them, I put them back into free little libraries. And if I do keep them, I put in a different book. I don't just take books and not not leave books. <laughs> so yeah, I for this one I'm going with The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. I got this from a free little library, I'm pretty sure, and I enjoyed it well enough, but I'm not planning on keeping it. I'm gonna put it back in a free little library at some point, so I would consider this to kind of be borrowed. Next we have my something blue, which ever since the movie Bride Wars came out in like my early teens, I have wanted my something blue to be a hair clip. So I have these hair clips for my something blue. I just thought of the idea this year after getting engaged to have my blue hair clips be made out of my mom's wedding dress, which was a blue wedding dress. So that made this thing that I kind of was already very excited about for a long time even more exciting and even more special. And for this one, I'm going to select a book with a blue cover, and the one I went with was Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. I do have some very subtle, light Peter Pan themage throughout my wedding. And so since my copy of Peter Pan had a blue cover, I thought that would be perfect for my 
something blue book on this book tag. <laughs> and then finally we have the lucky sixpence in my shoe. I got myself a lucky sixpence from Amazon. So this will be in my shoe during the ceremony and then I'm going to put it in our unity ceremony time capsule. And so for this one, the prompt for the book side of it is to select a book that you feel lucky to have. And so I'm going with this signed copy of Turtles All the Way Down by John Green because John Green is my favorite author. So I feel very lucky to have a signed edition of one of his books. But then also on top of that, I was lucky enough to get a little DFTBA on the signature as well. Don't forget to be awesome. So very lucky to have this particular copy of this book. So yeah, that was it for the old new borrowed blue book tag, a niche book tag here, but I had a lot of fun making it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Remember, words matter.